Someone's been busy, hasn't she? I'd like to think I understood the assignment. That you have. And it's still the tip of the iceberg. Have a fantastic opportunity for you. I'm listening. How would you like to try your hand at one of the most unique experiences in WWE? A position where you'll be able to set the agenda, take control of the whole of the WWE Universe, and truly make a mark. And this magical mystery opportunity will let me do all that? Indeed, in the prestigious role of WWE Raw General Manager. Isn't that you? What, are you going on vacation or something? Well, now that you mention it, I may have plans. Aha! But this is fertile ground for you too. Stepping into a WWE authority role, applying your talents to the other side of sports entertainment. Sure, booking may be a balancing act sometimes, but you already know that from your work as co-owner of TBD. I'm not convinced that this offer isn't just because you want a vacation. But nonetheless, I'll do it. Splendid! I can't wait to catch my flight. Um, uh, see you in action. So when do I start? Well, I should start heading to the airport. So, how's now? Seriously? Don't worry, Raw practically GMs itself. Sure, Bianca needs a challenger for Survivor Series. Bailey and Becky have both been bothering me incessantly about their booking, and the suits in Stamford are especially sensitive to ratings right now. But you'll figure it out. All that GMs itself? Are you sure that's it? Yes. Oh, wait. No. Charlotte needs an opponent for tonight. Actually, this is a good way for you to set the tone of how you'll be running Raw. Every match should tell a story, so you just need to decide which story you'd like to tell. Such as? Are you going to choose an up-and-comer like Nikita Lyons to challenge the Queen? Maybe someone she has a lot of history with, like Rhea Ripley. Or maybe you want to dig into Charlotte's past a bit further. She goes way back with Natalia, including the feud that made Charlotte the first woman to hold all major singles titles in WWE. So, what kind of story do you want to tell? Who will you choose to take on Charlotte? I think Nikita Lyons would offer an interesting challenge. I have no hard feelings, despite her involvement with the Beacon. And I like the idea of pushing an up-and-comer. Fantastic choice! Well, good luck to you. I have every confidence. And just a word of advice. Do try to be as neutral as possible as GM. You may find yourself rooting for the talent you put forth. Sometimes even as strongly as if you were in the ring yourself. One of the best women strikers in WWE, Nikita Lyons. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Nikita Lyons. 
Nikita is unapologetic both in and out of the ring. She's all about taking what she wants, and who's going to stop her? The Queen has arrived. A woman who helped usher in a genuine women's evolution in WWE alongside her fellow four horsewomen. The most highly decorated female superstar in the history of WWE and a guaranteed future first ballot Hall of Famer. Born into this business, the daughter of a two-time Hall of Famer, Charlotte was always destined for greatness, and she has definitely achieved it. Whether you like it or not, no one can measure up to Charlotte Flair. She was bred for this business and has become the absolute pinnacle. She really is the biggest challenge there is in this women's division. It's a new era on Raw as the captain helms the ship as temporary general manager. Start, but let's see what else Cap has planned. Pulled back into the hip toss. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Uh oh! That gets reversed on Nikita. Got the leg and drops the elbow. Oh, there's the old. Oh, man, Charlotte just bending that leg to her will. She adjusts it and reverses it. Oh, the ref in the wrong place there. The ref's got to be better than that. Sidewalk slam. She avoids the contact. Tremendous series of kicks. Drops the elbow. Set up in the corner of the ring. Close line in the, in the corner. And an elbow for good measure. Just got a flush. Can she keep her down? She overcomes the pinfall attempt. An emphatic kick out, and there's still a lot of game left here. Back in the ring now. There it is. Snap suplex. Into the pin attempt. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. <laughs> oh man, looks like her opponent's not gonna need a chiropractor. Momentum has pivoted towards Nikita. Charlotte trying to withstand this surge. <laughs> Fought off with an elbow. Kick, kick on the mark. She's pushed into the corner. Boom on the jaw. Bronco Buster! How's that for in your face? She has her target weighed and measured. The U-turn Charlotte needed in this match could have been that right there. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Ah, oh, look at this. Charlotte was put in check there. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. 
one reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Countering the queen. Watch the hand speed. So impressive. And Charlotte can't find an answer for these attacks. Nikita seizing every opening. Stomp to the guts. Oh, an insult to injury. Into a sidewalk slam. Big forearm. Tossed into the corner. She scores big with the counter. Kick her to the face. Looking to end this. Nikita Lyons, split leg, leg drop. Nothing Charlotte Flair can do now. Kicks out, just kicked out. It's not often Charlotte comes that close to defeat. You have to think the temperature of this match has just been turned up a notch. Was not able to seal the deal with her best move. Now she's asking, what more can I do? I am the counter. Uh-oh. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Flair retaliating. Right to the kidneys from behind. Pulled back into the hip toss. Taking flight. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. Compromised position here. Oh, no. Better make reservations at the local medical facility. Treating the torso to yet another attack. Tagging this outside. This could be good. And she slides her back to the mat. She's getting back to her feet, but is there fight left? Effective arm. She's going to try it again. And Lions with a split leg and leg drop. Nikita Lyons, a not-so-regal outcome for Charlotte. The Queen deserves better. She'll get what's rightfully hers eventually.
I'm not here to fight. Good. I don't want to fight either. Then maybe we can work together on my idea? And what's that? Survivor Series. I know for a fact that not only has Ron not announced a main event, but Regal had nothing in the plans yet. So, let's take the bull by the horns and do something truly spectacular. War Games! I can't just book a War Games match, Shotzi. Why not? Are you GM in name only? No, I mean, I love War Games as much as the next person. But it's not a match to be taken lightly. You need a reason. Something that merits putting two teams who want each other's throats inside a double ring cage to battle it out with abandon. Who would even be the captains? I captained my team in NXT, and I was excellent. Ah, so this is the classic, my pitch is that I should be in a main event pitch, right? There are rules to booking. Excuse me, but when did Little Miss TBD Rebel, who puts people through tables, become a lawful, good rule follower? Don't you ever just want to smash things for the hell of it anymore? That's not the point. I'm taking my role as GM seriously, Shotzi. It's hot shotting to just announce a War Games match. You sound like a WWE suit. Let's screw the so called rules. Put yourself in the match against me, and we can absolutely destroy each other in that cage. We pick teams, go all out, and millions of people tune in to watch the joyful carnage. The two of us are perfect for war games. You're the captain, and I already drive a tank to the ring for crying out loud. You know what, Shotzi? It might not be a terrible idea. Let me think on it. That's all I'm asking for. I wanted to stop by and congratulate you on your new role. So, congrats. It's only temporary while Regal does whatever he's doing on vacation, but thanks. And giving Nikita Lyons the chance against Charlotte, and she pulled off a win? That was a great matchup. I love that you have a commitment to newer talent as GM. I actually feel the same way about pushing the next generation. Always have. And as your liaison to NXT, I wanted to offer you an opportunity. What's that? An opportunity to showcase more of our top talent on Raw in a next-gen battle royal. And Nikita probably has a leg up from her match with Charlotte, but it'll be great for all talent involved to get the spotlight and some reps in. I love that idea. I'll set it up for our next episode.
If I could have a minute. <sighs> what is it, Troy? I honestly don't have time for your tone tonight. I'm trying to manage a show. My tone? I would never use a tone with you. I, I think you're doing a great job, top notch. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Oh, you're serious. I guess now that I'm the management, you have to suck up to me. I'm not sucking up. I think your ideas are genius, boss. Of course they are, Troy. I'm smart. Now what's up? Yeah, Becky and Bailey. They're being... Particularly difficult in hounding us to be named Bianca's next challenger at Survivor Series. Ah, I'm sure they snuck into your DMs too, but I'm used to superstars pestering us for opportunities. <laughs> no offense. But this is getting out of hand. How do you want me to handle it? Why don't we just have Becky and Bailey face each other for the title opportunity? It'll be a great match and solve our problem. Great suggestion, boss. I'll set it up. Wow, you really know your stuff. <sighs> I could get used to this version of you, Troy. Here and ready to roar. That's right, that's right. Ah. The following contest is a five woman battle royal. Making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Nikita Lions. MMA trained at a black belt in Taekwondo at eight years old. <laughs> There's another eight-year-old that could beat you up, Saxton.
Here comes the heart of Chase U. And her opponents first, representing Chase University from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Having come straight out of high school to NXT, Thea has made it clear she doesn't want her youth to define her. Yeah, Thea Hale wants to prove that she really is a grown woman who can hold her own. And that means no more waiting, no more asking for permission. Time to stop being a student and start teaching lessons. Thea Hale is a true ball of energy with endless potential. She's been living up to that potential and is ready for the next level. Well, time will tell if she's got the aggression to get there. Time to wake up because you can't sleep on Wendy Chu. Oh, it's easy to discount her and her napping ways, but trust me, Chu is the real deal. And from Chinatown, New York, Wendy Chu! I hope Wendy's ready to compete because when the bell rings, there's no snooze button. Uh, Wendy is more than ready, and I think the opposition is going to be very alarmed tonight. <laughs> you guys get it? Alarmed? Am I asleep right now? Because this is a nightmare. Oh, yeah. Plans on waking up everyone to her potential. I disagree. I'd say there's a 50-50 chance she sleepwalks through this one. Here comes an in-your-face superstar, Fallon Henley. And from Chelsea, Michigan, Fallon Henley. Fallon's been a huge disruptor in the women's division for the simple fact that she won't be intimidated. There's nothing mysterious about Fallon Henley. Tons of attitude, and she comes at you full force. One of Fallon's favorite hobbies is to call people out. It's going to get rough around here. Enemies of Blair, beware. Yeah, she says she's cold, collected, and coming to dominate WWE. And from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport! This woman is the textbook definition of ruthless. You gotta love Blair Davenport. Blair Davenport calls herself the Scourge, and she is ready to deliver punishment. Look, Blair Davenport is as brash and as mean as they come. We'll do anything to get the upper hand and ensure victory. Some of the biggest superstars of NXT are all here on Raw in one match. Our GM has outdone herself. Who among these competitors will be future champions? This is like peeking into a Christmas present early. I would never peek ahead of my Christmas presents. Well, of course you wouldn't, Saxton. Now let's see who comes out on top of this NXT showcase. And there was some force on that move. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Beautiful suplex. Oh my God, he's got a good running arm breaker. That was nasty. Crashing down with 
with the senton. Oh, look at the mountain thrashing. Getting ugly in there. Out of control. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. The exploder. Nice side headlock applied. Oh. Tremendous series of kicks. Some shame in taking that hit. She manages to get control. Come to congratulate me on a successful show.
I was just out back talking to Justine about the successful battle royal. So you didn't see the number one contender match with Becky and Bailey? No, that match practically booked itself. Why? Who won? Who are we putting against Bianca at Survivor Series? We have a problem. Damage control ran in during the match, and at first it looked like maybe a straightforward DQ victory for Becky, but then she got irked and went after them. And technically the bell rang at some point, but with all the fighting that broke out outside the ring, nobody really won. And we still need a challenger for Bianca. If I may make a meager suggestion, Survivor Series is right around the corner. You may just have to step up as GM and make a decision. No, we still have one Raw left before Survivor Series. Let's do a rematch. Becky versus Bailey to determine Bianca's challenger. Do you really think the match will go any differently this time around? I do, because as much as it pains me to admit it, you're right about one thing. I need to step up as GM, so I'll be serving as special guest referee.
Our interim GM has arrived in stripes. The following contest is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, Ms. Sweet. I got a real problem with executives who interject themselves to micromanage everything on the show. No idea what you're talking about, Corey. Raw's GM is our special guest referee, and the stakes couldn't be higher. Make way for the man. A woman who's done it all, but always wants a fight. And the participants. First, from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. A main eventer, a former double champion, left WWE to have a child and returned without losing a step. Well, that's just the man doing the man things. Uh, about to learn very quickly as this woman uh, how difficult it is to contain damage control. Difficult, Cole, that might be the understatement of the year. It's practically impossible. She is a woman who is here to take control. And representing damage control from San Jose, California, Bailey! The thing I love about Bailey is every word she speaks, every action she takes, just says, I'm better than you. Well, she took the helm when she created damage control and now an all-out assault on the women's division and the WWE fans. I feel like Bailey's gone out of her way to show that she's on her own level now. She is such a great leader. Tonight, she's got a chance to actually back it up. Well, one thing is you have to answer Becky's amazing in-ring IQ and willingness to do anything to win. Well, if she can find the right strategy, it'll change her career. Our general manager, the captain, promises that we'll have a number one contender. By the end of this match, will it be Becky Lynch or Bailey? We'll know soon enough, and with Cap as special guest referee. And will this be it? She kicks out with authority. And the referee just doing exactly what she's supposed to do. And gotta give our referee credit. She wasn't trying to influence the result there. Heartbreaker. Uh-oh. Carefully measured. Big leg drop. Lynch gets stonewalled. Bailey's got her hook. Oh, nice suplex. Elbow drop. Taking this match off the mat now. You 
you can sense what her intentions are here. From way up, Pat, that one scouted. This pulls a hair into the snapmare. Oh my God, this is just nasty. Elbow lands hard. Yeah, guys, she's dangerously close to a count-out loss. Lynch with her opponent trapped in the corner and a springboard sidekick on the mark. Big time, Bex looking for a big time reaction from the WWE Universe. She sent flying into the corner. Oh, that can shatter a jaw. Oh, and return fire from Lynch. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. DDT! Have to imagine that's a blow to Becky's ego and confidence. And Bailey delivering a bit of that ruthlessness that's... Almost falling victim to a suspiciously quick count. Our appointed official is clearly. Bailey, shot to the front. Spike with a low plant. And can that keep Becky down? Two. What a ridiculous three count. Our referee has just cast a black cloud over this Here's entire your match. Bailey. Bailey stood in the middle of the ring and found an answer for the man. Michael, this came down to heart. It came down to desire. And tonight, Bailey would not accept anything but victory. Well, that was something. Hey, you were the one who said I should put my finger on the scale. thought that and don't get caught part was implied <sighs> guess not I wasn't actively trying to get caught too bad you don't have the chance to course correct the championship match before Survivor Series but maybe I do how 
Survivor Series is this weekend. You can't send Becky and Bailey back out. I said recently, I'm Miss TVD Rebel, not a lawful good rule follower. And Raw is a three hour show. There's an announcement I need to make. All right, Miss TVD Rebel. Whatever you've got up your sleeve, good luck. This is the second time we've seen the acting Raw general manager in the ring tonight, but this time she has a special announcement. Here's hoping this goes more smoothly than her stint as special guest referee. As GM, I'm not deaf to the concerns of the WWE Universe. Specifically, that my involvement in our number one contender match earlier tonight may have made it look like management was biased towards Bayley. I assure you, my intent as GM is simply to put on the best show for the WWE Universe. And that applies to not just Raw, but Survivor Series. As such, it is my duty to inform you that Bianca Belair will not be defending the Women's World Championship this weekend. Bianca's being pulled from Survivor Series? She will not be defending this weekend because it's clear Bailey and Becky Lynch are not done yet. I just hope they have allies to rally to their side. Eight fighters, two teams of four. War Games! War Games at Survivor Series? I'm not missing this one. Well, we're paid to be there, Saxton. I know, but it's still incredibly exciting. I'm still not over what you did in my match with Bailey. But thank you for making it right. Glad we're okay. We are. And I respect your hustle. You've made a lot of bold choices since coming to WWE. It's one of the reasons I want you to be on my War Games team. Really? I like your instincts. Especially when you get in trouble and have to think quickly on your feet. I even trust your instincts. Team with me, and I'll let you pick the rest of the War Games team. Uh, let me think about it. You really did it this time, didn't you, you dummy? 
I'm sorry you're not getting the championship match at Survivor Series, but I'm the GM and this is my call. Should have just booked the War Games match from the start, honestly. Want to be on my team? Why do you want me on your team? I think it's pretty clear from your time as GM that you've been going into business for yourself here and just doing whatever you can to scrape by. And that's exactly what I look for in damage control. So what do you say? Join me, Dakota, and Io in the fight to secure my WWE Women's World Championship match? I'll get back to you. I've been looking for you. I thought we were gonna meet outside of catering. <laughs> Turns out I was pretty busy in here. Both Becky and Bailey want me to be on their war games team. You can't be serious. You loused this up so badly and they both want you on their team? Hmm. What can I say? I'm a catch. I swear there's something in the water around here that allows you to walk away from the consequences of your actions unscathed. <laughs> I'm sure putting yourself into the main event while you're also acting GM will be no different. <laughs> Thanks for another great promoter lecture. Look, I know you're gonna do it anyway. Who are you teaming with? Becky said she'd let me pick the rest of the team. I'm joining her side. Can't wait for you to get absolutely no flack for putting yourself into the match that you set up. Have you decided who else you'll ask to join you and Becky?
Well, good luck. I'm sure it'll be interesting. The following contest is the Women's War Games Match! The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages, with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins! The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the War Games begin! Cap wanted a war. And now she has one. Introducing first, representing the bad girls from Atlanta, Georgia, Ms. Sweet. Cap has to be the worst general manager in Raw history. She puts herself in war games, and I heard it wasn't even her idea. Uh, rumors aren't facts, Corey. And besides, anyone who competes in this type of match deserves our respect. The captain is ready to call the shots. Bailey is a ring general, ready for battle. And representing damage control from San Jose, California, Bailey! Understand this, Bailey will deceive you. She will stab you in the back. She will do bad things to good people to get that women's world championship. And that's why I love her. None of those things will make a bit of a difference once the door of that cage closes behind her. Bailey's going to survey the battlefield, then her forces will attack.
War Games is a match with no rival. Two rings, one giant cage, and eight superstars ready to risk it all for the big victory. Not only is pride on the line here, Cole, but depending on which team wins, we're going to have either Becky Lynch or Bayley as the number one contender to Bianca Belair's title. That's true, but first things first, no one in this match should be looking past the goal of surviving War Games. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. <laughs> what impact! Getting carried, unsure what they're thinking. Something's about to go either very wrong or very right. Oh, God. Oh, my. Oh, dropping down all their weight. Over the top into a head center. Impressive. Oh, man! She's starting to climb up the wall of the cage. We're gonna finish it off. Swan time bomb! Bailey is now under pressure. It's like a muzzle. Uh-oh. Way too... Attempting high-risk move after high-risk move at a breakneck pace. Inverted senton! Ouch! Looks like they're bringing additional firepower with them into what is now essentially a handicap match. She gets launched all the way to the other ring. Oh, strong impact! I guess she plans to add injury to insult once she comes in to join the fray. A great amount of force sends her all the way to the other ring. Takes down their opponent. Kicked right on the side of the face. She's bringing the pressure on now. Maintain the aggressive. Entering the ring and assessing the situation. Evading offense. She was launched like a missile into the arm. Double underhook. Sit out into the arm bar. She fights her way out of the arm bar. She propels her over. Uh-oh, up to the second row. team now. This truly has the potential to become one-sided. She just caught a rough landing in a dangerous territory. 
Becky Lynch holds her up. Oh, slam. Becky has opened up an opportunity. Becky Lynch with a shot to the back, setting her up. And she got set hard into the opposite ring. And Tiffany is getting the crowd going. Dakota wards off the attack. Lynch has Bailey right where she wants him. Oh, man. She saw it coming. Looking for a home. An inverted figure four leg lock. Clock counting down. A sigh of relief can surely be breathed once the next competitor enters. Oh, man. And that was a well targeted attack. Out of the cage and rushing in to erase the numbers advantage.
could have all been for nothing if you can't. Up in the end of here. This is it. And there's the save. And now we see Tomato. Maybe not. Maybe not. And there's the save. Let's keep fighting. Superstar. If the decorations are made of construction paper and tape, she was a big fish in a small pond who caught a lucky break. In the end, one team seemingly just wanted it more. And that is what War Games is all about. Digging down deep, going to battle with your teammates, and hopefully coming out on top when all is said and done.
Becky and the captain are still celebrating their epic War Games victory. And why wouldn't they? You're now looking at the number one contender for the Women's World Championship and the GM who put her in that position. This will go a long way in shaping the future of the women's division on Raw. Shotzi? Is that a full-size tank? Oh, my God. Shotzi came prepared. I guess she graduated into something larger. She's not stopping. This is going to be bad. I don't want to watch, but I can't take my eyes off what's about to happen. Shotzi just picked up speed. She's going to rail the cage. Into the side. Oh, down they go. This is bad. I can't believe what just happened. We need some help out here, fast. Whatever her issue was, Shotzi took things way too far here tonight. What the hell was Shotzi doing? I've had no problem with her. Yeah, I may have something to do with that. <laughs> Oops. Oops? I'm going to be out for months. Is that really all you have to say? How about oops? I got carried away booking matches for forgetting to manage people. At least that seems to be the case based on what I've pieced together. You're back. I was having a splendid time communing with the blue-footed booby of the Galapagos. But then, I caught wind of a few questionable developments. We should talk. I swear, I had it all under control. I watched Shotzi crash a tank into the War Games cage. Fair point. And perhaps, even more egregiously, you announced War Games without me. That's my thing. I announce war games. I'm sorry? Respectfully, you're fired from being raw GM. I accept. It wasn't a question. All that being said, with our newly minted number one contender injured, we still need a challenger for Bianca. You know, what you've consistently failed to nail down. I hate rewarding you for this mess. But I'm a much better GM than you are, so I'm going to make the right choice for the show. And unfortunately, there's someone who helped lead her team to victory who's rightfully next in line for the opportunity. You'll be getting the championship match against Bianca Belair on the next Raw.
Here we go with this so-called major announcement. I'm afraid this is a good news, bad news kind of night. And I've always been a bad news first kind of girl. So here goes. With our fearless leader, William Regal returned, looking quite tan, might I add, the time has come for me to step down as your raw general manager. I actually thought she did a great job, guys. Are you kidding me, Byron? Well, at least it was exciting. All right, so there may have been some mixed opinions on my stint as GM, but I'm sure that's only because we all know where I really belong, which is fighting in a WWE ring. Not sure that's the only reason. Which is why I'm pleased to announce, given Becky's unfortunate medical status, at the hands of someone who William Regal has assured me will be dealt with, the real suits have decided to name a new number one contender for the Women's World Championship, me. Huge news for the Women's World title. And that championship match is happening right now. After all the confusion around Survivor Series, we're finally getting to see Bianca defend her championship. So, Bianca Belair, Let's! This woman just will not stop coming after the captain. If her grievance was big enough to get her to take down the War Games cage in a tank, did you really expect her to let it go? Hey there, friend. <sighs> Give it a rest, Shotzi. Haven't you done enough at this point? I think what you meant to say is thank you for making me number one contender, Shotzi. Sorry you hurt your leg in that unfortunate tank incident. Wait, how did you get hurt when you were driving the tank? Is this really all because I didn't give you proper credit for your terribly original idea of let's have a war games match at Survivor Series and didn't even put me in the match? But no, this isn't an isolated incident. This apparently is just what you do playing in other people's sandboxes, stealing other people's ideas, and jumping every line. You may have William Regal fooled, but not me, and not the locker room. Oh, I'm sure, Shotzi. Cutting lines might work in TBD, but in WWE, there are consequences. Bailey? That's Bailey's music, but where is she? Is Shotzi just playing mind games here? Bailey from behind! Shotzi's found an ally who's not okay with being skipped over for a women's world championship match. I don't blame her. It was supposed to be either Bailey or Becky. Cap weaseled in there. Wait, we're getting a call from the back. This is an official match. Here we go. We thought it was all over at War Games, but Cap getting named number one contender apparently of cover. Shoulders are down. And a kick out before the count even begins. Staying in this one. And that prevents Bailey's attack. Face first. Oh, set up. It's locked in. She is trying to break out of this. Ooh, an elbow does the job. so confident after taking that attack. Oh, uh, there's the old... Oh! Damage to the hamstrings. Oh, she lands hard. Oh! Oh! With authority! Bailey fending that off. Bang it back with their own count. Into the corner. This can't be good. Drop kick into the corner. Uh, drop kick into the corner. Wow. Agility like that 
Easier said than done, gentlemen. What a wrist clutch suplex. Off into the pin. She kicks out in one. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. This won't end well. This Move is over, Byron. Let a professional call this one because this is going to be nasty. Bailey turns it around. Oh, she misses the mark. She anticipated that one. She turns it right around with a counter. Oh, my God. Setting up for something massive. Here it comes. Oh, well placed to the face. Does that finish Bailey off? Cover. There's two. Almost had her, but she gets the shoulder up. Well, Bailey is certainly displaying a great amount of toughness. It's not easy to kick out of that. There's got to be some sense of desperation right now. She's used her best weapon, but the match still continues. And Bailey is being humbled here. Any chance for Bailey's offense is being trapped. Bottom rope for a moonsault. Miss timing with that springboard. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. A series of kicks and Enziguri. She's about to rise up to something catastrophic. Over the top. Slingshot head scissors. Wow. No way. Slide up to the floor. What a splash. Like a heat-seeking missile hit the target right on the mark. Throws her back in from ringside. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. We all know what she's looking to do next. Up high. Cross body. Is it enough? The cover. Two count. She certainly looked to be in trouble to me. in a precarious position here. Ouch! DDT'd into the canvas. And now Bailey's being measured. Popped right in the face. Bailey with belly. Cover! Showed her up even before a one count. She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. Boom! She's trying so desperately to get back up to her feet. Can they go on the attack? Uh-oh, Phil Nelson. SSTO. Turn the lights up. Good night. For the win. Two. An incredible victory for the captain here tonight. She certainly solidified her position as the number one contender. She claimed she was injured. She was just pulling all our legs, Cole. Shotzi laying the boots in now. Compared to the tank, this is nothing. Finally, the referee getting control of the situation. She's using that crutch on her throat. Shotzi wasn't done. Motion the leg sweep with the crutch. At least Shotzi's made her point now, and we can finally get on to the business of the Women's World Championship next week. I'm not so sure, Byron. Neither am I. Based on what Shotzi said earlier, I doubt that this satisfied her desire for revenge. She's on a mission.